the base classifier defined as following has maximum prediction accuracy and hence it is the optimal classifier. The base classifier is defined as fx equals to argmax with respect to y belonging to set of all the classes and we are maximizing the probability that y equals to y given x equals to x. So what we are doing here is given x we find probability of it belonging to all the classes and the class that has maximum probability is declared as class of x. So this way our prediction has maximum probability of being correct and here we are finding argmax. So what argmax means is the value of argument y at which our function is maximum. So we are not really interested in maximum value of the function but we are interested in the position of y where the maximum occurs. But there is a catch and that is the base classifier will be an optimal classifier only if the joint probability distribution of x and y is known. And however, the joint probability distribution of x and y is usually not known because all we have is the data set consisting of n pairs of xi, yi which is drawn from the joint probability distribution of x and y. So what we do is we obtain the classifier from estimated probabilities using the data set and this classifier is called plugin classifier and the plugin classifier may or may not be the optimal classifier. So how do we do the actual predictions? So we rewrite our classifier using Bayes theorem. So we know that the conditional probability of y given x can be written as conditional probability of x given y into py divided by px. So this equation 1 will become argmax y belonging to set of all the y probability x given y into probability y divided by probability x. And we are finding the argmax of this expression and here note that probability x equals to x does not depend on y. So even though this term will affect the maximum value of the function but it will not affect the position or that is value of y where maximum will occur. So we can drop this term from our maximization. So this will become equals to argmax y over y of the function probability x given y into probability y. Now here this term probability x given y is called data likelihood given the class that is what is the probability that x will have a particular value given we know that which class it is coming from or class conditional distribution of x and we can find that easily by dividing all the xi's such that each group contains xi's belonging to a particular class and then we estimate probabilities for each group of xi's and they will be the class conditional probabilities or data likelihood given the class and the probability of y equals to y is called class prior that is our a priori estimation of particular element belonging to a given class and that can be obtained as number of observations in class y divided by total number of observations and normally capital X and small x that is our input data belong to a d-dimensional space. So when we say capital X is equals to small x that means the d-dimensional vector capital X is equals to d-dimensional vector small x and these two d-dimensional vectors will be equal only when each component of these two vectors is equal. So we can say that capital X equals to small x is same as capital X1 is equals to small x1 and an end condition in probability is denoted by intersection capital X2 equals to small x2 and that is intersection dot 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 capital XD equals to small xd. So the class conditional probability that is probability capital X equals to small x given capital Y equals to small y will become equals to this expression 
and this probability is not easy to evaluate so one simplifying assumption is to assume that all the dimensions of x i s are conditionally independent and the classifier that assumes conditional independence of the dimensions is called naive base classifier that is a simple version of base classifier and if two events say a and b are conditionally independent then the conditional probability of their intersection is equals to product of the conditional probabilities so the conditional probability that capital x equals to small x given capital y equals to small y which is equals to this expression can be written as product of the conditional probabilities and this product can be written using the pi notation where we are multiplying these expressions for j from 1 to d so the base classifier which is given by this expression with assumption of conditional independence of all the dimensions becomes naive base classifiers where the probability capital x equals to small x given capital y equals to small y becomes the product of conditional probabilities for each dimension and same as before probability capital xj equals to small xj given y equals to y is the data likelihood given the class or class conditional distribution of each dimension of our input data x and probability y equals to y is class prior